Hi guys, I've been feeling useless lately. I've had this terrible, terrible cold. I think I'm coming out of it. And to make myself feel less useless, I refactored a couple of old projects. So let me tell you about the, the first project called S3 Post. What does it do? It's simply a, a form that allows me to post to my S3 bucket. So let me demonstrate on the desktop picture of me. Um, that's me. And then it gets, you know, I don't use Dropbox. I prefer this. It's my own bucket. This cloud front in front of it, super fast. And, and most importantly, it works really good from, from my mobile. So let's take a picture. Take a picture of me. Hello. And you can, I can enable it, you know, like YouTube, whatever. And then, boom. I should do some sort of like progress thing or whatever. I'm not so clued up about that. If you know how to do a progress thing for a file up, a, file, a post, please let me know. In, in my opinion, a browser should show progress indicators a bit better than they do, but not well. Um, so why is this interesting? Well, I, I've had this project going, I, I've been doing this thing since 2016, huh, only a couple of years. And it was in PHP and I was requiring this, <clears throat> this horrible caddy docker PHP image, which, which, which would occasionally break because, you know, PHP, would become PHP 7 or something weird and and everything. So now this is all in Golang. And I welcome you to have a look at it. I use, you can't, with API Gateway, you can't use basic auth. So I'm using cookie-based authentication. And for some reason, the cookie gets cleared very often. So maybe I need to just set it for a longer expiry time. But the idea is that the cookie gets set uh, on on whatever browser I use and then I can upload to my bucket easy enough and yeah previously I had my credentials or let's see how did it work before um, yeah my credentials and I generate the signature needed yeah, this is a lot better. I'm using IAIM auth now, obviously, in the Lambda environment. Don't have to run that server anymore. Don't have to pay DigitalOcean. This is a lot more, this is a lot cheaper and everything is on AWS. So yeah, that's my upload program. I, oh, these are, these are other couple of little things. There's, yeah, don't, I'm not too sure, am I, I do have this thing where I notify myself about a successful upload. And I think I wanted to, because when you take videos with this, it's in an MOV file and it needs <clears throat> FFmpeg to run over it to change the move thing in the beginning so that it can play, play back on your, on your web browser. I'm thinking of doing that in my Lambda too. Um, but yeah, obviously this, this thing is relevant to me. It notifies me, so don't use that part. But I think you get the gist of it. I hope you like it. PHP to Golang, that's where we're going. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you like like the, like this, because there'll be another one coming shortly. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.